You earned that. LSU, its first NCAA basketball champion title. Like, man, I want to be on the team. I'm just saying. <laughs> we got a spot for you. We got a spot Oh, for my you. God. How old were you when you started, when you got into the game? I was about four. Yeah. Four? Four years old. Yeah, I was about four. I was young. Three. <laughs> three? <laughs> yeah, I was three. Wow. Yeah. We're so proud of you. Thank you. You're doing amazing. <laughs> When I was in school, I didn't have people like you to look up to. Yeah. And I was almost on the basketball team with the ladies, but then I chose music. But I'm sure you're going to inspire so many other young ladies. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you're the face of that. That's going to inspire others to want to do exactly what you're doing. And you're, you're making it like you're trailblazing it mm -hmm. and setting the tone. So keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're okay. hard work paying mm -hmm. off. Yeah, hard work paying off. Mm -hmm. So you, your team started off with nine new players this year. Nine new pieces, yep. Yeah, so how, is it, how do you build the chemistry together? You don't know. So when you get in the summertime, you, you come in and everybody's competing. Everybody wants to play. It's super competitive in the summertime. So our theme this year was piece it together. And to see how we could piece it together at the right time, I mean, this is coach's second year at LSU mm. in the league. So just being able to trust the coach and then trust each other. We had leadership. Alexis had been here before, so she kind of paved the way for us. And all of us just followed along. We all had a role in the team, and we all followed it to a T. Nobody got outside of their game. or they just Everybody played a role, and it was just, it was just perfect. <laughs> now, Angel, you're known as the Bayou Barbie in fashion like, and of the court. Tell us about that. I mean, I've always been, I... <laughs> yes! Look good. I, I feel like look good, play good. I mean, that's, that's just how I am. I make sure my lashes are done, my nails and hair, my edges is on, on fleek. So, I like... I feel like I can just tap into so many different things, and I think that's has helped me grow my brand. I mean, a lot of people love me because I'm being able to show both things on the court. On the court, I'm... It's no games to be played. Like, on the court, is about my business, but off the court, I'm a girly girl. I'm gonna dress up. I'm gonna be cute. I'm gonna put on a skirt, some tennis shoes, and be cute. Like... I think a lot of people put the stereotype that you're supposed to look a certain way on the court. You're not supposed to have your nails on. You're too focused on your makeup. No, I'm going to look good, and I'm going to have my lashes and makeup on, <laughs> and I'm going to still, and I'm going to still, yeah, I'm going to get to it. Oh, my God. I have to ask all you ladies, where do you get your confidence from? I get my confidence from my mama. I mean, she... Yeah, I'm going to show My mama. Yeah. My mama. She instilled in me, like, young, that I could do anything that I wanted to do. And don't let nobody put, like, ceilings on you, so. Yeah. Mm. For sure. Mm. Yeah, my mom and my granny, for sure. That's two strong women right there. Yes. Yeah. They, they said women. what they said. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.